Hello guys, welcome back to my Football Manager 2022 experiment. So we continue our experiment on Jude Bellingham, who is now returned to Birmingham City and will want to make it um, as a glorious team as it used to be before. So now entering the sixth season, um, although we already... Um, past this another five years so overall ten years now Jude Bellingham is now the captain uh, of Birmingham City so let's have a look on the sixth season 26-27 um, calendar so Birmingham finished fifth so it's just um, five points off the Champions League spot but yeah oh but they have a Champions League um, so that's weird. Last season they were, they were eighth and qualified for Euro Cup. So could that be possibly something happen that made them qualify for the Champions League? We'll we'll have a look later. Although they only have like one point, um, just a one point gap with Liverpool. Leicester did not get any European, uh, because of Norwich and Don't Casta. So we're gonna have a look later. Could they could finish in the final of the FA Cup? Could be. And then, and the seventh season now. Birmingham finish. Uh, not as good as last season six, although they are just one point of last season. So yeah. <laughs> We have Preston, Watford and Crystal Palace relegated last season this season, Brighton, Brentford and Wolf last season. So yeah. So in the eighth season where is Birmingham is in the ninth position. Oh they did not qualify for any European con con, con European Cup or any competition for next season as you can see don't cast again they managed to grab three seasons in a row for european competition and in this season burnley bournemouth bournemouth and wolves relegated uh, wolves relegated, relegated again for the um, consecutive time they were in the premier league so in the ninth season now uh for uh, bellingham in uh, Birmingham City. S oh, the this is nice. They although they have ten points off the second, uh, team. They were eleven points off the fourth, uh, team Chelsea. Oh, uh, this could be their best season ever we had, um, in the league. So it happens in the ninth season. So Birmingham qualify for the Champions League and they finish third, which is the the highest, could be the highest they ever been in this, uh, experiment. Yes. So third, they only lost well, still a lot at times at home against West Ham, away at Leicester at home against Spurs, away against Newcastle, home against Preston. Home against Leicester, home against Aston Villa, and away against Man City. So Norwich, Leeds, and Walford uh, delegated this season. So in the tenth season now, we have finished fourth, um, with seventy three points. Um, yeah, they qualify for the Champions League again, and yeah, United won that. Uh, league title this season and we have Rex the reading riding the castle and Nottingham Forest relegated really um this season so shall we look at um Birmingham City uh fixtures so how could they so they are in the Euro Cup group H so we're gonna just gonna focus on the Euro Cup. Beat Marseille, beat Besiktas, beat Lud Ludogorets. So three wins, four wins against Ludogorets, and then draw against Besiktas. And then oh they uh, oh they lost against Marseille. 
Oh, I thought that they lost two one against Shakhtar and then one three nil, so they won four two. Uh, on the leg and then Valencia one nil at home. And they'll two and away, uh, in this second knockout, uh, stage. So they're going to quarter final. They lost against Monaco at home. But they won away for one. Wow! No ni Mandueke, Nicola Zaniolo, and Luis Diaz. Nico Serrano. I'm not. I didn't. I don't know who are these players actually. And then semi final, they won't. 2-1 against Torino away and then they're in the final so I assume they will win this uh, final yes they do win against Marcel uh, their group mate Ibui Adams I'm not sure who that was oh they have won 7 nil there and we did not see any um Bellingham name, but it could be on the Asis or something. So now in the seventh season, so they won two 0 against Champions League winner in the Euro Super Cup. So another uh, massive trophy for Birmingham City. So let's have a look. Um, they have won. Uh, they have entered the Champions League via the Euro Cup, but it started poorly. Two 0 away. Defeat against Villarreal and then they won against Little Storm and a loss away against uh, Napoli uh, and then a draw, a draw at home both games against Napoli and Villarreal that doesn't seem good 2 nil against um, Little Storm which makes them I think relegated to Euro Cup it's not gonna be possible they going to so, Champions League and as you can see they won in Euro Cup they they have entered the Euro Cup although they lost away 1-0 but a 2-0 victory meant it was enough to go to the second round of knockout stage uh, against another Italian team Roma which knocked them out this season so they are not doing well in the seventh season I believe or is it at the eighth season uh, they still qualified for Euro uh, I think this is the season that they did not qualify for any European competition they finished nine in the in the competition in the league I mean so not a good start they lost against West Pro lost against West Brom away and then uh, a 2-2 two -two draw against Partizan and another draw against Hajduk Split although they managed to win at home 3-0 and another home win against Partizan before finishing the group uh, with a victory against Atalanta so it's a group a strong finish here um, in the Euro Cup this season they're doing well in the FA Cup beating Wolves and Watford so they have lost against Atalanta 2-0 uh, at ho away. Another Italian team is um, eliminating uh, Birmingham City, although we managed to win 2-1 at home. Oh, 84th minute. Oh, what a heartbreak. And then they lost 2-1 at home in the FA Cup. Um, fifth round. got to be kidding me. So, yeah, the league. Doesn't look very nice as they lost. They are winless in the five final games against Newcastle, Arsenal, Liverpool, Aston Villa, and Man City. It was live on TV, and they got 1.16 million. Well, moving on to the six. Uh, is that the the ninth season now? Oh, okay. So this is the season they did not qualify for any. They did not qualify for any European competition this season. So they started off 3-0 win against Carabao, against Forest Green. I mean, in the Carabao Cup, second round. Quite a nice um, month they are winning until they lost against Man City. And then, oh, struggle against Wimbledon. 1-1 in the Carabao Cup third round. So luckily they all missed the penalty. 
but in the end they still lost in the Carabao Cup in the fourth round. So no other major issue here against Reading 3-0 in the FA Cup, 2-0 against uh, Burnley, Petersburg fifth round, and then they require a quarter um extra time in the quarter final. So they are now in the semi. What can they do? They are in the final against Man City. Two all draw. And so Fati is in Man City. Raheem Diaz and Ibrahim Adams. So Jude Bellingham scored the penalty. Raheem Diaz scored the penalty. And so Fati scored. And Mr. Buzai. They can rise in Man City. Harvey Ali had missed actually before. Ad Addison. Is it the keeper? Oh no. The keeper. <laughs> They give us the chance to to win. Joshua Kimmich also also in Man City who would have been surprised. Hannibal, one of the uh, United Man Man United um, youth product, scored the winning penalty against Man City. Oh, and they won FA Cup. Brahim Diaz going the fifth of the end minute. So. Birmingham City has won the FA Cup in the ninth season. So coming in next season, uh, they lost to Community Shield. They're in the Champions League. Lost three two. They they are do giving a very very good fight against um Real Madrid, but then at home against as Monaco, they lost one nil. Oh. They have lost two games now. They have to turn back uh, and do something good. So they have tried that against Dynamo, but they have to win against Madrid or um, Monaco. They do win against Monaco at, uh, away in Monaco. Callum said, I there? And they have to do something against Real Madrid a draw so I'm not sure if this is enough for them to um qualify for the next stage hopefully it do and the loss against Man United in the quarter final of Carabao Cup are still FA Cup they're, def- they're defending champion they do qualify in the Champions League they won 3-1 against uh, Hoffenheim from Germany 3-1 at home so hopefully they can do something yeah they did not did not bottle it they managed to throw one all Jude Bellingham scores that's what we want to see and then at away against Milan 1-0 Frank Cassie scored a penalty hopefully uh, it's not good enough in the quarter final they drew nil nil they failed to score against the Milan which is uh, to be honest, uh, in the in the tradition, is strong on the fans, and that's the end of the their um adventure, uh, shall we say adventure in the tenth season. So they have quite uh experience now playing in the Champions League, um. Hopefully, in the next five years, they are doing uh, better. So, let's have a look. Uh, English Premier League. Third place. This is the highest <laughs> that we got in the league. 2030, uh, finishing third. Um, yeah, that is the tenth season. Or is it the nine? The ninth season, I'm sorry. Euro Cup, their final winner in 2027. So it's this, um, yeah, it was a very, very good experience for them. English FA Cup. So, in this um, experiment, they have won twice uh, FA Cup, uh, which is good. Carabao Cup, they only managed to do this in the 2011, which is not in our experiment year. Community Shield, twice. Um, and this is not um, on our radar. Managers, let's have a look at the managers. So Luis Enrique is still the manager since 2024. So he's been in the um, Birmingham City team for six years. 
So hopefully, he's doing well. He has brought four cups to the team. FA Cup winners, European Super Cup winners, Euro Cup winners, and another English FA Cup. So, I think he's the right manager for Birmingham City. So let's have a look at the players, um, especially Jude Bellingham. Just, just Jude, just Jude Bellingham. Should we see care stats? Yes. So he was bought by Man United in two thousand twenty seven, hundred ten. So as per our <laughs> game rules, we have to back go back to Birmingham for free. So this is a very good donation which they spend wisely on other players. Chelsea did the same, but United did not learn the same mistake. So we started off in 2026, he played 37 games, he scored 7 goals and 11 assists. By far this is one of his best, if not the best um, season he had um, so far. And then he scored 3 goals and 6 assists. The following season, 4 goals, 7 assists. So he do supply goals also to the team. 3 goals at assists. And this season he uh, improved from the previous 4 seasons. Which is 5 goals and at assists. And the same rating like he made in the 6th season. So now... Uh, we will move forward to another five seasons and to see uh, what will happen to Jude Bellingham. He's only 27 years old and this is his value. So, uh, yeah. Um, no, let's have a look at his stat, actually. Um, so he's now had, had his full potential, his current ability. So... Yeah, uh, let's have a look. Oh, I just want to see. Oh, he has scored 23 goals in his 105 caps for England. At 27, he has already have 105 caps. Still a young boy, and he still can do another five seasons of um, football, and we'll see after that. So... Uh, please continue to watch the part 3 if you want to know what happened to Jude Bellingham and Birmingham City. Alright, thank you for watching and bye-bye.